understanding the life coaching scam. Life coaching has become a popular topic, often sparking debates about its legitimacy and effectiveness. Questions arise regarding its relationship to counseling and whether it truly provides the support and guidance people seek. This blog delves into the intricacies of life coaching, examining its definition, the qualifications of practitioners, and how it compares to counseling. What is life coaching? Life coaching is an unregulated field, meaning anyone can claim to be a life coach without formal training or credentials. This lack of regulation raises concerns about the quality of services provided. Unlike counseling, which requires a structured educational path and licensure, life coaching can be pursued through short seminars or workshops, sometimes lasting only a few hours. The unregulated nature of life coaching. One of the primary issues with life coaching is its unregulated status. While counselors undergo extensive training, including postgraduate education, life coaches can emerge from weekend seminars with little more than a basic understanding of coaching principles. Some simply emerge from their basements and declare themselves to be life coaches. This disparity in training leads to significant differences in the quality of service received by clients. Comparing life coaching and counseling. When considering whether to become a life coach or a counselor, it is essential to recognize the fundamental differences between the two professions. Counselors are trained to handle mental health issues and can offer diagnoses, while life coaches generally focus on helping individuals set and achieve personal goals without getting into mental health treatment. Training and qualifications. Counselors typically require a master's degree in counseling or a related field followed by several years of supervised practice before obtaining licensure. Life coaches can complete training in as little as a few hours, often without any formal education requirements. Some simply declare themselves to a life coach and hang their shingle, waiting for desperate or naive clients to inquire. Scope of practice. Counseling is a regulated profession with clear boundaries regarding practice, Counselors are trained to recognize and treat mental health disorders, while life coaches may stray into this territory without proper training. This overlap can be problematic, especially when clients seek help for issues such as anxiety or depression. Are life coaches effective? While there are effective life coaches, many lack the necessary training to provide substantial guidance. Some coaches may have backgrounds in counseling or psychology, which can enhance their effectiveness. However, the industry also attracts plenty of individuals with minimal training who do not fully understand the implications of their advice. Common concerns about life coaching. Several issues arise within the life coaching field, including assume, misleading goals. Many life coaches promote vague goals such as unlocking your potential or finding your inner self. These objectives typically lack concrete definitions, making it challenging for clients to assess their progress. Lack of accountability. Since life coaching is unregulated, there is little to no oversight regarding the qualifications and practices of coaches. This can lead to clients receiving inconsistent or ineffective support. Potential for harm. Without proper training, life coaches may inadvertently cause harm especially when approached with mental health issues that they are not equipped to address. The role of buzzwords in life coaching. Like any charlatan-based industry, the language used in life coaching is often filled with buzzwords and jargon that are designed to sound appealing but lack substance. Phrases like harnessing the power of your potential or unlocking your hidden self can be interpreted in many ways leading to confusion about the actual services provided, it can also lead to delusion. Financial aspects of life coaching. Life coaches often charge fees that can vary widely from $100 to more than $1,000 per hour. This pricing can be perplexing, especially given the lack of standardized services. Some coaching clients have commented that they felt that they were renting a high-priced supportive friend rather than receiving professional guidance. When life coaching might be beneficial. Despite the concerns, there are instances where life coaching can provide value. 
Some individuals may find it beneficial to have a supportive figure in their lives who encourages them to pursue their goals. For those who are not dealing with significant mental health issues, life coaching might serve as a motivational tool, especially when it is clear the relationship is meant to be mentor-based. Choosing between life coaching and counseling. When deciding whether to pursue life coaching or counseling, it is crucial to consider your needs. If you are dealing with mental health issues, counseling is the more appropriate choice. However, if you are seeking professional development and goal-setting support, life coaching may be a viable option. Final thoughts. Life coaching can be a valuable service for some, but it is essential to approach it with caution. Understanding the differences between life coaching and counseling can help individuals make informed decisions about their personal development pathways. While not always a scam, the lack of regulation and variability in quality makes it imperative for clients to do their research and ensure they are working with qualified professionals. Unless the so-called coach is clear up front that the relationship is designed to be a professional mentored-based experience, one might want to think twice before contracting with a high-fee know-it-all.